Hey everybody, I'm back again on YouTube, finally, um, I'm sorry, hopefully this video isn't in slow motion like my last one was, um, I know I've been away for a while, I've been pretty busy with school, I had a lot of, uh, I had a lot of tests recently, like SATs and AP tests. Um, yeah, overall, I just had a busy year, you know. But, um, you know, things are getting back on track, and I'm pretty excited to see how, what happens with my channel. Um, and if I can get it to start growing again. I appreciate the continued support throughout my absence, like... You know, a lot of people are still, you know, waiting for me to come back, I feel like. I've got a lot of comments about me coming back. And, yeah, it just makes me happy to be part of the community. Because, um, yeah. It means you guys are happy to see my content, so I'm happy about it. So, what you're looking at right now is Key West Airport. Um... A lot of you have probably seen it before on my channel or Instagram or something. But if you haven't, uh, you know I do not only collect Darren planes. I do collect 1400 models as well. Mostly Gemini Nets. But we got an NG model right here. An absolute beauty. Um, so yeah, I just want to give you guys an update on my 1400 airport. Because I feel like I don't give this enough attention and... As I'm getting older, like, you know, I am getting less into Darren planes. Because, um, you know. But at the same time, these guys are expensive. I haven't got one in a while. But yeah, I just wanted to give this airport some love. So, I thought I'd show you guys how it's looking. I love taking pictures on it because it's just, it's pretty detailed compared to my, uh, you know, the Darren airports I've done. Here's a 3D printed jet right here um, that I got from a friend on Instagram. I'm gonna do a video on everything I got from him. Uh, yeah, he was clutch. I also got all these airport ground crew workers and cones from him. Um, just, uh, yeah. It was, it's great, because they look great at my airport. So I'm, I've been pretty happy about that. It just adds, like, a whole nother level of detail, you know? Like, all these little red specks. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, I got a Delta lineup right here. CRJ 900, maybe? CRJ 900, I think? Or 700? CRJ 900? Uh, an A220... 737-900. I love my Delta section. This is probably my favorite section of the airport because of the way it curves around and bends. Okay, let me just give you guys some cool shots of it. Maybe this can be thumbnail. Oh, it's so cool. A little United in that old livery out on the runway. And then another new United I got. And I think I filmed an unboxing for this. I haven't uploaded it yet. So I'm not going to show that too much. So that's going to be a video I upload probably. Here's my Silver Airways ATR. Oh, I also got a new, new set of vehicles that I'm going to do a video about. Because it's such a great set. Hawaiian, JetBlue, A321. And then uh, I'll talk about those later too. I, I'm sure I did upload the video on the unboxing of this guy, I'm pretty sure. Wait, did I? I think I did. <laughs> yeah, I'll check. Either way, here's like one of my favorite models, um, an NG models, Southwest 737-800. It should be dash 800, I think, right? Oh wait, no, 700, 700, sorry. I'm getting back into the aviation, you know, I just gotta, 
how to uh, get back into the mix. I'm a little rusty. These are all dash um, 700s. Yeah, this is a 737-800. Yeah, I've got my Southwest line up here, which looks gorgeous. I definitely want like more normal livery Southwest. You know, I feel like Gemini Jets and you know other model makers often release special liveries of them, but they don't release enough normal liveries. But I, I haven't been, you know, looking at new releases for a while, so maybe I'm wrong about that. Maybe they have released a lot of new stuff that's um, that people are craving. I just feel like that's been a problem a lot. Like, they always release special liveries of airplanes, but never the normal liveries. So it's really hard to collect a realistic fleet of what you would see at an airport. And then, I don't even know how this happened. I just had these white blocks. I tried to do something with them, and it failed. And then, like, I just decided that I'll just set it up like this and have, like, this very weird-looking triangle terminal. I know it comes onto the runway a bit, the taxiway. Don't don't worry about it. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll, I'll I'll make it look better soon and make it make sense. Over here, as you can see, <laughs> I haven't quite finished setting up some of the vehicles and all that over here. But here's like the small little little American Airlines section of the airport right now. Again, this is not what Key West is like at all. Like it's very very you know fictional right now this is just i'm not even thinking about key west when i look at this it's really just an airport like to temporarily display all my 1400 aircraft so uh yeah we've got a big guy little guy just chilling over there yeah that's that's about it right now i'm just gonna give you guys some final shots some final shots of the uh, the airport, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna go, and I'm gonna upload this video. I'm excited. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed watching the video. I'm very happy to be back. If I if I leave again for a while, which I don't think I will, but if I do, um. I apologize in advance. I really don't think I will. But I got my Instagram account back and everything. So I'm gonna be I'm gonna be in the mix now. So yeah, um thanks for watching. I'll see you guys soon. I really appreciate you guys sticking with me, really. Um I'm excited to see what this channel has for the future. And uh yeah. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.